Hey guys, thought, thought excuse me, thought I would do a quick tour on my John boat to bass boat. Hope you guys are all having a great day. So here we go. I'm gonna start at the back where my six horse Johnson is. This is a 12 foot aluminum boat and made by Aerocraft. It's a 1966 along with the Johnson's also a 66. It's quite old, but I love it and it's mine. So that's the best. So back here is where I sit when I'm running, obviously. So I have this cool seat from Bass Pro. Then I got a two and a half gallon gas tank here. This is a two stroke, so it's 50 to one oil mix. One part gas to 50 part, well, I mean 50 parts gas to one part oil. And then back here, I keep my cover, which buttons down to the sides here. And then I have these things for my bimini top, but I put noodles on them so that they they um, wouldn't poke through the cover. It's quite a nice one. I have some pipes there that I use to hold it up. And then back here I keep this, which is just a box for, um, one second, a box for uh, an extra little anchor, grill glue, hardware, all sorts of things you need on a boat, like locks. Got the drain plug down there. This transom is in pretty good shape because I just redid it. The boat's painted black with a little bit of green trim. Um, this motor is a 66, like I said, Johnson two-stroke um, outboard. Gets this boat up on plane, no problem, but it's not very fast. Only about 20 miles an hour, 16 miles an hour. I'll pop the hood off so you guys can see. All right, so this is the interior inside of the motor. Carburetor's right there. Uh, starter comes up, spins the flywheel, uh, throttle linkage, um, the cylinders back here, and then I got a wrench for the shifter because the guy I bought it from dropped it and broke it off. And then down here, I got my transducer for my Garmin. And uh, yeah, this is basically it. All of what everything works on this good running outboard starts just about first pull. I'll give you give you a little show on that real quick. Just pop this back on. All right, get her started. First pull, baby. Yep. So that's that. And I got some planos back here, and some car baits. I always keep a knife in here, some cut line. Got some Sankos and sorts of stuff in here. I just keep it back here. I also have a spool of wire, primer ball for the engine. Spool of wire is just in case that this is just my everything box, like something I'd take if I ever went out just on a river or shore fishing. I got a nice anchor here overkill for this boat but it's fine and then i got here in the cockpit area i got some bug spray just in case because the bugs are pretty bad out on the water this time of year i got i usually have about six rods which is a lot for this boat i have these things up at, up at the front so that um it holds the rods in place and i just have two on here right now because i'm not fishing i'm just making a video so get those off and then this is going to be a rod locker i'm going to cut holes through the seat here and then run it through here which this will be a shallow stow and then pipes all the way up to the bow and then i'll have just about eight feet for storage i can probably do about five rods in it in here i just got some line first aid kit it's um waterproof i got a tackle box doesn't have much in it i got more bug spray and then over here i just got a pit of soft plastic i got like these bags I got, I got some power bait i got some some zoom fat albert grub green pumpkin got the guggen baits you know it trench hog um bandito some leaves, oh, and some Berkeley gulp. That's always good to have. Yeah, so that's basically it for this compartment. 
There we go. And then my rods just go through here, up here. I also have this on the other side. Now, I can't put a seat in this pedestal. I wish I'd got a flush mount one, but that one's fine. Then I have this compartment, which I can open up here. And then I got my battery in here. It's just a 12 volt. That is a 24 volt trolling motor. It's a 50 pound thrust, but really having a 24 volt in this boat would just be over quick kill. So got this. It runs my nav lights and flood lights at the front. I just keep like wiring stuff, some tools, some pool noodles for the edge that I use as bumpers. I got some more Gulp Alive shiners. Those just stay down here because they're kind of stinky. And then over in this spot, which will be this part of the rod locker, I just have a bunch of planos, hard baits, keep some silicone in here just in case. And I use this for bailing out the boat if it ever fills with water soon. I'm going to get a bilge pump, but that's for a later time. Then in here, this basically my dry hatch. It has a plastic tote in here. I keep extra clothes. Uh, more bug spray, just in case. And then, have this block so I can put a transom mounted uh, trolling motor here if I ever need to. But I got the foot pedal on here, so. Yeah, this is just random stuff in here. I got, like, a really old spin cast reel that I never use. Some drill bits, I guess. Just tons of stuff. Flashlights, fishing in the dark. I got a little box of frogs tape, uh, starter fluid, yeah, all sorts of things. You never know with an older motor like mine, so. Then this deck does lift up too, so I can lift it up and then store stuff under there like my paddle. Just lifts up like this and then that hatch is there and then the box is down there, but I have all that stuff. And then right here I got my Garmin. Kind of dirty. It's not hooked up to the battery right now because I just took the battery out to charge it. I have. I keep this cover for it. I do live on this lake, so I. I don't really have a trailer for it because I don't really need it. And then, batteries at. Oh yeah, this isn't hooked up to the battery either because I undid it. Yeah, but it's got on-off switch, 10 speeds, uh, side to side, and then power. Then. That's basically it for the front of the boat. And then I have switches here. This one right here flips on my nav light, which I probably probably need now. It's getting kind of dark. The sun's going down. But yeah, that's basically it for this tour. There's the aero aircraft thing. I also have this rod holder, so when I catch a fish and I'm sitting on the seat that goes here, I can just... Um, put my rod in here when I catch a fish. So yeah, that'll do it for this tour. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.